Hello and welcome to Using EndNote at RIT. I'm Roman Kashikar, Computing and Information Sciences Librarian at the RIT Libraries. And in this series of tutorials, I would like to introduce the uh, basics of using the EndNote Citation Management System, specifically for users at RIT. EndNote is an online citation management tool that allows you to collect, organize, and format references saved from various research sources. And please do note that we do have the uh, online version of EndNote available through RIT rather than the, the full desktop version, which is a paid service. Um, we use the online version of EndNote as customers of the Web of Science, which gives us a number of uh, advantages when it comes to using EndNote. As reference here, I'm using my EndNote info guide at infoguides.rat.edu slash EndNote. And you can refer to this guide at any time. Please note that all pages do have a link at the bottom that will take you to the EndNote online portal. Getting into the details about using EndNote, uh, as I was saying, we do offer access to the online version of EndNote provided by RIT libraries as a part of the Web of Science subscription that we maintain. Um, because this is uh, an online system that allows you to log in and view your own customized library of references, uh, you can work from wherever you are working, storing up to 50,000 references in your personal EndNote online account, uh, attaching files to your rep references up to a two gigabyte storage limit, and sharing groups of references with other EndNote users. And as um, Web of Science customers, we are able to at RIT use more than the 20 free bibliographic styles that come with uh, online EndNote for non-institutional users. We have um, many hundreds or even thousands of styles that we can draw from. Uh, available to us. Now to get started uh, on the info guide, I do have information of getting started from on campus, uh, where I am recording this from. Um, you do need to log in to EndNote uh, with a web account. And as a new user, you want to register a new account. Uh, know that your Current RIT institutional login uh, is not compatible with EndNote. Uh, it is a separate registration that you have to complete. And if you are doing this from off campus, the recommendation is to first log into Web of Science. And this works from on campus as well. You can authenticate to RIT's subscription to Web of Science, as noticed by the uh, rather large RIT library logo above the Web of Science menu. Uh, what you would want to do here is register and then follow the directions to register con to continue with Web of Science and with EndNote Online. And that gives you access to all the great tools that EndNote Online provides. Also, once you register, you'll want to download the Site While You Write program. It can be installed from the Downloads menu option in EndNote Online and then used in Microsoft Word to insert citations and bibliographies into your documents as you write them. And you may also want to install the official EndNote mobile app to have access to your library of references from mobile device. 
And I would also recommend installing the EndNote Click browser extension, which uh, has many benefits as I will demonstrate in another part of this tutorial series, the EndNote Click browser extension lives here in, uh, in the web browser once you install it. I'm going to follow the direct link into EndNote. And once again, if you uh, are using this for the first time, you'll want to register. But I will enter my email address and my EndNote password that I registered for. And now I am logged into EndNote's web interface and looking at my personal library of references. As a new user, what you'll see is this getting started guide, which links out to uh, different um, help documentation pages on EndNote's own website. And again, you'll want to uh, go to downloads and download, you can download EndNote Click from here, which I've already done. And you can download the site while you write plugin for Microsoft Word for Windows and Mac. When you have it in Microsoft Word, you'll see a, a tab in the menu bar that says EndNote. And use the same email address and password to access EndNote site while you write. Be able to insert citations and edit bibliographies and documents as you write them. And I will demonstrate how to use that particular feature in a, another portion of this tutorial series. So for now, I'm going to back up to my EndNote info guide and simply recap what it takes to get started. First, you'll want to register from either on campus or off campus according to the instructions. And you'll want to create a uh, password for EndNote that is tied to your email address. And then use the direct link to EndNote in the future to log into your library of passwords and to log into Site While You Write, which is another tool that you'll want to download from the downloads menu in EndNote Online. And then also install the EndNote Click browser plugin for use with your browser and instantly connect to uh, your EndNote account from wherever it is that you are searching. In the next segment of this tutorial series, I will go over various methods for adding references to your EndNote library. And there are many different methods of doing this, and I'll demonstrate some of the most useful of those.